everyone so um, I've promised you a review of this electric engine for a while um, we've been using it for about six months so I figure it's about time for me to let you guys know what I think about it um, we have been using a cover for it because I'm not sure how waterproof any of these sections are and I did didn't really want to have um, any issue with that any of the electronics in that area get um, water damage and stop working so my daughter Alana ended up making that and um, that's worked out really well um, it also keeps sun damage and everything off of it too but um, so basically there are some pros and cons to this um, electric motor it's um, just a, a cheap Chinese one they come in this version which is 2.2 kilowatts and they come in a one kilowatt version um, I think for what we've been using it for which is just a basic um, dinghy motor I would probably go with the one kilowatt one in the future for a few reasons but um, for now let's let's take a look at this so there are some let's talk about some of the cons um, it's the throttle is really touchy so between nothing and a lot is like barely anything and that can be kind of annoying because you're just barely holding it and you twist it all and then you're going faster and um, it's not super smooth um, the next thing is they had this button here which is supposed to be a cruise control so you go where you want you press it and then it stays there but I think after how long probably three months um, that broke so you have to hold it by hand the whole time which it's not horrible but it's was much easier when you could put that cruise control on um, there definitely is some salt water corrosion going on um, a little bit with the paint on the actual motor now the actual motor is underwater it's not um, above water in this housing um, so it's kind of like your trolling motors are usually underwater too um, but even the propulsion one was now it looks like the one kilowatt one is not made that way it's just a normal um, lower unit sail drive essentially with the motor on the top um, which I think for a lot of the cheaper um, motors that might be better because the less that you have in the salt water the better um, you know less corrosion less issues less water damage um, so I think that might be a better way to go we have been using this little this is a really small battery um, it's lithium-ion it's made for like a bicycle and it's um, a half a kilowatt we get about four miles on that going at a moderate speed um, I haven't so it, it's it's fine for up to a thousand watts so that battery is fine working up to a thousand watts um, after that the BMS will kick out so since this is a 2000 watt motor um, it's I can't run it at full uh, you're gonna run it maybe at full for about five or ten seconds but not very long um, so that's a problem more with the battery than the motor but um, since we weren't sure how long we were going to be using this because we were selling both um, I didn't want to go for a super heavy expensive battery which could cost um, you know upwards to seven or eight hundred dollars whereas this one was only two hundred um, the pros though are um, I mean, it's worked fine it's cheap it's light it's gone where we need to go if you have to go fast for a second it does have some torque um, so it has been um, a really good motor for what we've needed it for but as I just said the battery isn't supposed to run like that so it did kick out um, so there are um, a lot of reasons you would want to use this 
and um, if you're going to use it for something super long term, like we've talked about before, I would suggest um, a more expensive motor like an Elko or something like that. But anyway, that's my thoughts on it. Um, I'll have the link down below for this one for the battery, um, for the battery that I would get if I was going to use this long term, and also for um, the one kilowatt motor that I think is better suited for just going back and forth on the boat. So um, hopefully that was helpful and I'll talk to you later.